All right, so we've just landed in Barcelona. At the start of the week, we have the Estrella's main event. I've punched my ticket. Um, there's over 600,000 euros for the win. I had a few bluffs. I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into last night. Things did not go well. It's my third entry into the 1100 euro Australia main event. That was a bluff. You look back at his cards, that was a bluff. So maybe this guy bluffed me. Maybe he didn't. I might be the world's greatest poker player. I played some of the worst poker I've ever played. We're about midway through what we can fire, and it ain't looking good. So hopefully I can spin up my short stack, and uh, let's get started. Hello, welcome to Barcelona. Um, now I'm going to introduce you to your videographer. Andreu! Oh my goodness, look at that. He's on brand. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're doing great. Yeah, fantastic. We are on the second break of the day. Started with 30,000 chips. Played two kind of consequential pots, I suppose. One where we opened ace jack uh, in the hijack, cut off course, small blind course. What was ace four six or ace four five, something like this. Uh, two tone, check, check, uh, bet. Uh, we call after the small blind folds. We go to a turn which is a eight. Um, check, bets 5,000, I call rivers of four, check, check. We show down ace jack, he has ace 10. So we uh, drag a small pot there. Uh, and then the second consequential hand, I have pocket jacks in the big blind. There's a raise to 1,500, a call, I make it 7,000. Uh, original raiser under the gun folds. Uh, original caller calls again. We're off to a flop, eight, nine, three. I'm a little bit scared of those sets. There's pocket eights, pocket nines, calling for versus early position, then calling my three bet. Uh, but we decide to go for a small bet of five and a half thousand. Uh, opponent calls, turn it as a king. Check, I don't think he has that many kings, but I check back, I don't want like sixes, sevens to fold. So I check behind, uh, river is another three. It goes check. I think maybe I should go for a small value bet here, but I don't, I check back and he mucks his hand and we win and we're up to 45,000 on the second break. All right, we are on the third break of the day. We've just been playing the 500, 1000 blind level, which is one of my favorite levels because I know how many blinds I uh, have in my stack. Got off to a very good start. We were up to like 70,000. One of the, the main hands, I won a nice pot with eight, six of hearts. I have a raise, the big blind calls. Flop is 10, eight, six, two pairs, very good for us. I bet 1500, player in the big blind calls. The turn is another eight, which is very good for us also. Uh, I make a full house. I bet 5,500. My opponent calls again. And the river is another eight. All of the eights out of the deck. We have four of a kind quads. Uh, we have the nuts, of course. I get a little bit greedy. I'm hoping he has a full house. So I go 16 and a half thousand chips. Looking for a pool, full pot size bet payoff. Easy for me to say. Uh, unfortunately, after some deliberation, some time banking, our opponent folds. But we scooped a nice one there. Following on from that, I had a few bluffs. I don't want to get into it. Bluffs were made, chips were bluffed, a few small pots were lost uh, until I pick up pocket queens. Uh, my opponent opens to 2,000. He has 22,000 chips total. I decide I'm happy to play for that amount of chips with the queens. I make it 6,000. Uh, he goes all in. I quickly call, tabling my queens, and he tables aces, and the board runs out. Some nonsense without a queen on it and no straights and flushes. Um, so going back, we will be at 600, 1,200 and I have about 36,000 chips. So about 30 big blinds deep. Bullet one of the 1100 euro Estrella main event. Uh, to my right, just here, is a trophy. I believe that is a main event trophy. It might be for this. I wouldn't know because I've never won a PokerStars trophy at any of the EPTs I've attended. So my eyes are still very much on that prize. What's up, everybody? Uh, it's day three 
of the Australia's main event, day two here in Barcelona for me. I don't want to get into last night. Things did not go well. I got it all in with a pair of aces. A guy had 5% chance to win, he won. Then I got it all in with Jack 10 against 5-6, blind versus blind, and the flop came 6-6 six, six king. This is very bad for us, which means that I now have a new ticket. It's my third entry into the 1100 euro Australia main event. It's still day one, we're still looking for a bag. Uh, let's go. First break of my third entry in this tournament. We played a couple pots already. We had one I open king 10 offsuit. We go three ways to a flop. It's king 10, nine, three clubs. We flop two pair. Probably not a board I want to do too much betting on with all the, the clubs out there. So I actually start with a check, even though I have top two. My opponent bets. I decide to just call. I think check raising, we're going to isolate ourselves against just some really strong hands which we don't want to do. Uh, the other guy folds, we're heads up to a turn, which is another nine. I check again, my opponent checks back, and the river's a three of hearts. At this point, I'm pretty happy that I have the best hand. Uh, almost always, I block the traps, which are going to be the full houses. I think a flush bets the turn. So here it's a question of how do I get value? And I decide that I want my opponent to potentially start bluffing again. If I, if I check three times, I think he's going to perceive me to be quite weak, maybe capped to a hand like ace 10. Uh, or pocket jacks or queens maybe. So I go for a check, actually looking for a, a pretty greedy check raise. Uh, assuming that he's gonna bluff sometimes and also if he did check back a king on the turn for pot control, that he'll start value betting that hand again on the river. And then I can, I can take kind of a funky check raise all in. Unfortunately, he checks back after some consideration that he was gonna bet and has king jack of spades, which is kind of exactly the hand I wanted to be greedy against. And I end up winning zero chips when I definitely should have won some. So a reasonable start, but kind of sad not to win more there. Then we play another pot where Mr. Andrew, those of you who watch my uh, online streams will know we play with Mr. Andrew a lot. He's at my table here. He raises to 2,200, player calls. I have the ace and the king, two very high cards, two of the highest cards in the deck. I make it 7,000. Mr. Andrew folds, and our original caller calls again. Flop is 10 deuce nine. No, that's not right. 10 deuce three, I believe. 10 deuce three, two clubs. I have the king of clubs, the ace of hearts. My opponent checks in flow. I decide just to bet a lot of my hands here after I three bet, continue my aggression, and my opponent calls. The turn is an eight which is a little bit sad. Obviously we don't improve, we don't pick up the, the club draw. I still think our hand can be good sometimes. He's gonna float some worse ace highs maybe. So once he checks, I decide to check back, take a step closer to the showdown, and the river is an eight of clubs, which fills the flush draw. We brick out again, and I am gonna three bet with some eights in my hand. I might three bet bluff something like king eight suited or queen eight suited. So I make trips here sometimes. I make flushes here sometimes if I take my free card with my flush draws. So when my opponent bets 7,000 into a pot of around 20 something, I'm a little bit sad. I think for these small bets, it's kind of rarely a bluff. And I decide because I have an eight sometimes, maybe even I trap an overpair sometimes because we have less than pot left and the flush gets there. I decide to just fold ace king high. And then he looks back at his cards before he throws them into the muck. And I have a, a thing in my head that whenever someone does that after the hand's over, they look back at their cards, they bluff me. That was a bluff. He looked back at his cards, that was a bluff. So maybe this guy bluffed me, maybe he didn't. But coming back to the second break, we have 15,000 chips at 1,200 big blind. Okay? Good.
Quick update for you, I won a load of pots because I might be the world's greatest poker player. I got it all in with 10s against Ace Jack, wanna flip, we're going on dinner break, we've got 80,000 quests for a bag, but day one continues in 75 minutes. But we're in good shape, I'm very com uh, confident about this one. Very confident indeed. This is a shameful update. I went uh, into the room over there, down the corridor, with 130,000 chips at like 1,500 big blinds which is a lot of chips. I played some of the worst poker I've ever played in the last two hours. I don't really want to include these hands in the vlog, so maybe uh, we'll do a little montage here. I called someone at the river with King High. He had a full house. I limped behind with six, seven offsuit and triple barrel bluff like 10, eight, three, queen, king, and got called by a 10. And then I, I, did, I did make a reasonable fold. I made a good fold with pocket 10s when I was very short and the guy had pocket kings, but I would have hit a 10. So if I played bad, I would have tripled up. Uh, I did just double back up with sixes, but uh, yeah, disastrous couple hours really, lost about 100,000 chips. And my quest to find a bag in day one of this main event, this 1100 euro Australian main event, uh, is not going particularly well. There is another flight, late night flight tonight. I think maybe we can play some tomorrow, but I have a busy day, so it depends. We're about midway through what we can fire, and it ain't looking good. All right, what's up? Welcome back. We are about to start day two of the 1100 euro Australia main event. I've got 59,000 chips. The blinds are gonna be 3K, 5K. We already have money locked up. We're guaranteed 1700 euro. There's over 600,000 euros for the win. So hopefully I can spin up my short stack and uh, let's get started. We played a pretty interesting hand. We have pocket nines for 66,000. The blinds are 3K, 6K, so I have 11 big blinds. There's a raise under the gun to 12. I go all in because I have two nines and what, 11 big blinds. A couple folds behind me. Then one guy reshoves 150K and the guy behind him, well, I, I'm, I'm okay with this. Like this reshove, I'm still feeling okay. I can win some flips, whatever. Player behind him then starts time banking, thinking, looks like he's ready to put chips in and then eventually doesn't folds, but shows his neighbor, crucially he shows his neighbor, which means that at the end of the hand, everyone's gonna have to see it. Original guy who made it 12K then folds his hand and we're heads up. My pocket nines versus pocket threes, but the guy who folded time banking folded pocket queens, which is quite a tight fold, I would say. I would describe it as the original raise has ace jack. He folds, obviously he's always gonna fold with ace jack. Board runs out like ace king, something, 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 and I more than double up. But obviously if the guy had called with queens, would have been game over. Couple hands after this, I now have like 150K and uh, same gentleman who put it all in with uh, pocket threes, makes it 12,000 chips to go. I shove, he has 100K total, I shove fives. He calls king jack, king on the flop. Uh, and I'm all but dead, down to 21,000 chips. Blinds are now 4K, 8K, so I have two bigs, all in ace jack, lose to eight, nine offsuit. Um, and I'm out of the tournament and they give me this, which means that I think I cash for 22, 2200, 2200, 60 something is what it is. Plenty more to play this trip, just getting started. So I think the next tournament's gonna be the 2200 high roller where uh, we go again. All right, 